everybody. I'm going to be taking from this video through the end of February to look at words that are pertaining to civil rights, social justice issues, systemic racism. And one of the things I love about word study with morphology is that so often the concepts we look at in spelling can shed light on broader ideas. Bigger concepts help us clarify our understanding of something. Today I'm going to look at the bases ACT, like we have for the Freebase Act, as well as the Freebase SOLID that gives us the word solid. The base ACT is a fairly simple one to start with, but it can really tell us a lot about how words are built. We can spell act, A-C-T, but when we go to action and we add that I-O-N, we're no longer having a T sound, even though the T stays in the spelling. And for kids who have it drilled into them that spelling is all about sound, sounded out, and they don't understand these broader concepts about how words are built, they frequently spell action with an S-H. So action is a fantastic word to look at this shift that happens in our speech. It's called palatalization. But basically in English, when we can say something easier, we do. We are a stress timed language. We reduce the length of what we're saying quite frequently. We reduce vowels. That is something that makes studying spelling as a sound only thing just fall to pieces. That's part of why morphology is so important. I love looking at the base ACT with both beginners and older students because there's lots that we can learn here. We can also find potentially a surprising word to many people, the EX plus ACT, giving us the word exact. Another sometimes surprising one is actually, and that's a really great word to look at connecting vowels. Those are also something that aren't super well known and connecting vowel letters are a key part of the writing system. So take a peek at this. You can look at activism, you can look at action, super, super important words for thinking about propelling equity forward, for helping to make a difference in the lives around us. We cannot just sit idly by. We need to take action. I hopefully piqued your curiosity a little bit with talking about the base S-O-L-I-D that gives us solid, like something that is whole, that is not hollow. Um, and I chose this one because it is the foundation for solidarity. Of course, when we show solidarity, when we are one whole with each other's interests and responsibilities, we're seeing each other as a community that upholds each other, that takes care of each other, that is solid. This word family is a super great one to look at the impact of stress. And depending on where our stress lands, it can help us hear what vowel is being spelled. For kids trying to sound this out, they're gonna probably struggle with the I. Um, solid, that could be spelled with a couple different vowels. I find solidify the easiest one to know what vowel that's gonna be because solid we are now stressing that vowel we hear the i and we know it's an i so solidify is a fantastic member of that word family to help us remember that solid has an i in it it's also super cool to look at that base fy and solidify that means to make so to solidify is to make solid this is so fun for kids to see the fy you know, and stupefy and solidify, simplify, all of these things that are making something else to make simple. So that's a very powerful combination to peek at too. And then there's also the FIC version of that. That's another base that also means to make. So solidification gives us that. Solidify gives us opportunity to look at what happens to a Y when suffixes are added to it. So we solidifies, solidified, we see that Y 
toggle to an eye. Solidify also shows us another connecting bell with that eye um, connecting the two bases. So it's a really rich study. There's so many places you can go with this. Um, lots of opportunity to look at different ways to consolidate your learning. That was a good one, right? I am encouraging you to look at solidarity, look at activism, talk about how these things play out. One of the fantastic things about word study is that all people benefit because it is the truth of how words are built. And so it helps us shed ideas on these relationships in our lexicon and our vocabulary while also helping people learn to read and spell them in a meaningful way.